Oh, I'll tell you. It ain't one thing, it's another. Uh, quick release valve and some brake chambers. Yep, I'm gonna have a new truck before you know it. Old Freightliner got me again. Well, today we have a leaking quick release valve back here, and ho hopefully, that is the only problem I have. Um, since the relief valve, I got a reman, a remanufactured relief valve. Um, it was like forty-five dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it first, and pretty much doing what Freightliner does. You know, they replace parts. Don't do that much testing, but um, they said if one of my brake chambers is bad, which there are four back here, um, that could be the problem. Also, it could be leaking back into the valve. Because every time I press my my yellow uh, brake chamber release valve, it leaks back here. It's hissing, you know, it's just air just coming through. I can still drive the truck, but it could be a, a problem that will cause me a bigger problem later on. So I'm going to start off uh, changing this valve. Um, let me take a picture of it. So I'll make sure I know which way the lines are going. And uh, the new valve is green, so it should stand out once I replace it. And hopefully neither one of these uh, brake chambers, I already bought four brake chambers, I'm gonna replace anyway. But I don't really wanna really do all that today. So hopefully um, after this uh, valve is replaced, um, if the hissing stops, then the valve is what's the problem. But if the hissing continues, I'll have to take a line off each brake chamber, clamp it, and that'll tell me which brake chamber is bad. Be right back. Boy, I tell you what, <clears throat> them bolts are hard to get off. Um, I think there might be a nut on the other, other end of that, which means I want to crawl up under there with a flashlight and everything, my work light, and put a wrench on the other end of that um, nut to get it off. But what I did was, just in case it wasn't the valve that went bad, I went on and took all the fittings off the old valve and put it on a new valve. And I just tested it. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a, new, it is a bad valve. So nothing's wrong with my brake chambers. But I will still hold on to two of my brake chambers um, just for, just in case in my brake chambers go out. There is a difference between the left and the right on the Cascadia. Um, so I have I have two lefts, I have two rights, with two driver side, two passenger side uh, brake chambers. I have four total, but I'm gonna take two of them back and hold on to two of them. But as for right now, if I can figure out how to get this old one off of here and just mount this new one, um, I'm good to go. Um, I just started it up aired it up, pushed my yellow button in and no leaks. Uh, so this ended up being an easier day than I, that I hoped for. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna figure out how to get this one old, old one off here so I can mount the new one on. To be continued. Well, I didn't want to take y'all through the pain of uh, how I got the old one off. Um, it had nuts on the back of the screws, which I had to remove a bunch of other stuff to get to it, so I said heck with that. Went and got the hammer, you know, as a last resort and the best thing. I just beat that sucker off there and beat the most screws off there and went to Home Depot and got me some new bolts, nuts and bolts, and the new ones on there. Like I said, um, when it was bad, uh, air was coming out of here, out the bottom, when I pressed the yellow release button inside the cab. So, um, I hooked this up before I took the old one off and everything worked fine, no leaks. So it was a bad valve after all, even though I bought four new brake chambers, I will take two of them back, just keep two of them on hand. These brake chambers are still good. They're not leaking back into the valve causing the air leak. So job is complete. So it's pretty much two bolts right there. That's pretty much the hardest part. Um, 
the airline is going to the brake chambers just pretty much screw off and like these are push push airlines to come off of here so it's called a quick release valve and it's very back of the cascadia on the frame and uh this day's project is done finito